Top Gun Maverick is out at the cinemas. So let's take a look at Tom Cruise, not as the actor, but as the real experienced and accomplished pilot. His exploits and skills in aviation are truly incredible. And I bet at the end of this video, you'll be inspired as I know I've been. And I'm going to tell you how you too can have your own Top Gun Maverick experience with a discount. Yep, that's right. You too can fly in a fighter jet. So, Tom Cruise starred in the original Top Gun film back in 1986, and from then he fell in love with flying, which isn't surprising. In 1994, he actually got his pilot's license, so he's been a pilot for quite a long time now. Today, he's actually a multi-engine instrument-rated commercial pilot, and he also holds a helicopter pilot's license and is rated for aerobatics. In a recent Top Gun Maverick promotional film, he flies into Burbank, California in his Honda Jet, which he owns and also flies, and he takes James Corden up in an adventure in his very own P-51 Mustang. It's worth a watch of this promotional film because it's really fun to see Tom Cruise actually flying and you can see how excited and enthusiastic he is about it all. This Mustang that he owns, it actually features in the Top Gun film, and it was bought by Tom Cruise back in 2001, rumored to be worth about 4 million US dollars. Though I've seen P-51 Mustangs on the used aircraft market for about 2.5 million, something that Tom Cruise can afford for sure, but not something that Maverick could probably afford. The L-39 Albatross that he flies in that promotional film is borrowed from the Patriots jet team, and yet Tom actually flies it himself. To be able to fly and be insured for an Albatross, Tom likely has a type rating, over a thousand hours of jet flying, and a high performance endorsement. James Corden seems to really enjoy the Albatross, more so than the P-51 Mustang, and the Albatross is of course a lot closer to that Maverick Top Gun experience. Taking a flight in the L-39 Albatross or a few other jet warbirds isn't actually as out of reach as you'd think. If Tom and the release of Top Gun has inspired you to live your life to the fullest and tick off that bucket list desire to experience being a fighter pilot for a day, then check out the company MiG Flug, where you too can fly in an L-39 or a Hawker Hunter or a MiG-15 or an F-104 or a bunch of other warbirds in either Europe or the US or Canada. My viewers actually get a hundred dollar discount, so if you want to give it a try and get a discount, the link is in the description below this video to get the discount code and the MiGflug website. Thanks to MiGflug for sponsoring this video. Okay, so if you want to know if Tom Cruise actually flew the F-18 in the film, well, the answer is no. He did ask, but the Navy turned him down. This is likely because the F-18 costs over 70 million US dollars, which is almost half the movie budget of 152 million US dollars. So the insurance for such an aircraft, and Tom himself, of course, and the potential for loss of control and the risk of the aircraft and civilians on the ground would be too great. Still, he and the cast were in the back seat of the F-18s with cameras, and the stunts in the film are real, performed by real US Navy fighter pilots with the actors on board, which is incredible. I'll leave links in the description below for all of the interesting videos covering Tom Cruise's aviation related stunts that I mentioned in this video. They're all very well worth a watch. You can also see Tom flying and performing stunts in the film American Made. His aviation training has been put to really good use over the years in a few films. For example, in Mission Impossible Fallout, he not only learned to fly a helicopter, but actually pushed to gain 2,000 hours of flying experience and his aerobatic license in a really short amount of time, working 16 hour days with the help of Airbus to get a high level of experience in just months. In Mission Impossible Fallout, he was flying, acting, and operating the cameras all at once. At times, he had 13 helicopters in the air at once, and Tom performed a particularly difficult maneuver called the corkscrew dive, or also known as the 360 degree downward spiral. And he did this in mountainous terrain, which is particularly dangerous and an in particularly incredible feat of flying, especially to learn all of this and to do it so quickly, and for a man in his 50s as well, is absolutely amazing. It's widely known that he's hung from the side of an Airbus A400M for the Mission Impossible film, and it went from takeoff to a thousand feet, doing a complete circuit and traveling up to a hundred knots. And the whole circuit took between five to eight minutes per go. And he actually did this eight times just to get the perfect take, which is amazing. He also has over a hundred hours of skydiving experience, and he performed the first actual halo jump by an actor jumping from 20,000 feet and only deploying the parachute to under 2,000 feet. 
Tom actually flies his aircraft and helicopters regularly. It's amazing what he's been able to accomplish in aviation and he's not slowing down yet. He'll even be going up to the International Space Station in a SpaceX rocket for a new film. I bet he'll even ask to pilot that rocket, although he probably totally automated anyway. Personally, I'm very jealous of Tom Cruise and what he's been able to do with aviation. I'd love to do even a fraction of what he's been able to do, but I have a very high respect for his dedication to learning, improving, and living life to the fullest. Watching Tom's aviation exploits and watching these mini behind the scenes documentaries for his films and the stunts that he's done has inspired me to realize what is possible with dedication and the motivation to go and do it. Hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you did, check out the link below for your discounted fighter pilot experience and leave your thoughts about Tom's flying capabilities in the comments. If you're now interested in aerobatic flying and you want to learn more about aerobatic aircraft and see some real world aerobatic flyings from aerobatic champions, check out my videos here and here. Thanks for watching, I'm Pilot Mike and safe flying.